make some backgrounds and print them. if I ever put it in a video but I did rearrange my room um, but then I just wound up putting it back like this this is how I've had it for a couple years now and I think this is how I like it the best so hey there my name is Brandy and this is what I've been reading lately the seven principles for making marriage work by John Gottman uh, I actually finished this last week um, it's super great. I got this like three or four years ago and read it and thought it was super interesting and I've sort of like revisited different chapters kind of over those four years but I actually like sat down and read the whole thing front to back like really like took my time to understand it um, and it's fantastic. I can't recommend this book enough. It's perfect for if you're single and you want to just like be prepared for relationships. If you're in a relationship that's like you're having a hard time, it'd be helpful. My suggestion is both of you read it so then you both kind of get some tools and and it's even really good for people who are in strong relationships or marriages. Um, it can help affirm what's already going right for you and maybe make it even stronger. So what I really like about this book is that I'm just gonna hold it up the entire time. <laughs> What I really like about this book is that it's not the opinion of like a marriage counselor or yeah, it's like not based on opinion, it's based on research. Basically John Gottman has been researching couples for decades um, and looked for commonalities in happy couples and commonalities in couples that were headed to divorce um, and then picked out like the seven principles. So it's like taken from real life, it's not just sort of like an educated guess. Basically the seven principles are enhance your love maps, your fondness and admiration, turn towards each other instead of away, um, um, accepting your partner's influence, your solvable problems, overcome gridlock, and share, uh, create shared meaning. Get into what each of them is, that's, you can find this book at your local library I'm sure, or order it on Amazon if you're interested. Um, but it was just like a super helpful read and um, I feel all the more prepared um, like I have a fuller toolbox to go into relationships because every relationship is gonna hit like a hard point it's you're gonna have conflict and if you can be better prepared to handle that conflict and to work with your partner to um, know what your unsolvable problems are and what your solvable problems are and how you guys are gonna work together um, then that's just like super helpful so now I'm reading this um, what makes love last um, I got this out from the library and the subtitle is How to Build Trust and Avoid Betrayal and it's by the same guy. And so I thought that maybe this would be about like infidelity, which I'm not super interested in because it's never, that's never been a problem I've had to deal with, thank god, knock on wood. Um, but the kind of trust and betrayal they're talking about is more than infidelity, um, which I find super interesting. And again, this is based on research and I would say it's even like more research heavy um, and it's super interesting because it's giving me perspective on things that have happened in my own relationships that like now I can kind of see like what was going on and what I could have been doing better, which is obviously like the helpful thing of both of these, but like this one in particular I'm like there's just like subtle nuanced things that you don't realize you do and then when you see it in writing and you're like oh I've done that it just like totally opens your eyes a lot more um, so that's what I'm really appreciating about this one the kind of trust they're talking about is like not even trust like is my partner gonna like be with somebody else they, though they do explain like why infidelity happens and how it happens and that's actually super interesting because I think that we have like a pretty like black and white um, um, image of what infidelity looks like and we criminalize people who cheat a lot but there's like so much more to it than that but anyway besides that it deals with like trusting your partner that they're gonna be there emotionally for you in hard times or that they're going to be open to you and listen to your feelings they're gonna start a family you know like they promised you they wanted a family and that they're gonna start that family with you but they're gonna take part in their chores like basically the trust is like knowing that your partner is always gonna be there for you in different varieties in life and that a lot of couples 
there are signs where that, that trust starts to deteriorate. Um, and like one of the interesting things that I've read so far, I'm not very far, that's how far I am. <laughs> um, but one of the interesting things that I've read so far is like the sliding glass door, they call it like a sliding door effect, where when your partner turns to you and tries to like make a bid for connection with you, you have the opportunity to either open up to that or close the door on that. Um, and I think a lot of the times we don't think about our interactions that way at all, like, okay, my partner's making a bid to me right now, I should be receptive to that. Sometimes we just kind of get stuck on our own, like, well, I'm, my partner's been really distant from me, so that's, so I don't care if they, you know, are making a bid to me right now, I'm just gonna shut the door on them. But it happens in like really subtle ways, like even if they're like, oh, it's a beautiful day outside. You have an opportunity there to either be to look and say, yes, it is a beautiful day, or to ignore them, or to be like, it's not as nice as yesterday, or you know what I mean, to like go against sort of what they're saying. I'm a Libra, so it's like part of my sign, like I'm just really into relationships generally, but I really just like want to be so good at relationships. <laughs> And I just always kind of like try my hardest and so like having books like this just, like really makes me feel confident and um, and um, less scared of conflict in relationships. Oh, and another thing I'm reading is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Um, I do a lot of reading on like the law of attraction <laughs> um, and uh, so I'm really interested in that kind of stuff. Um, and just being just more conscious of how money comes into my life and out of my life. I've heard about this book a lot over the years, so I finally got it, and it's basically like the OG secret. <laughs> like, you know, the book The Secret? Like, they basically, like, this is the origin of that, into this kind of stuff. So, if you're into, like, it's, it's even more than just, like, money, it's even just, like, how to achieve your dreams, essentially. So how to grow rich in life, as opposed to just monetary means, though that helps. <laughs> so that's what I'm reading so far. I always turn the camera on right after I eat. I don't know why I do that. I also don't know why my camera autofocuses to this shit back here. It's like face recognition, but is that a face? It's not a face. It's a hot dog, a donut, and a bee here. There it is. Found the face. Well, you guys have seen this a million times. You've seen me do backgrounds. These are my backgrounds, and I have new stamps. And so now you're just gonna you're gonna watch me stamp them now. <laughs> are you getting sick of that? That's just the format, though. I mean, that's my process, right? I make the backgrounds. I do the stamp on top. Um, in case you're wondering, I if you haven't seen my previous videos, I use Holbein acrylic gouache to do this very simple two shapes together. Not even that well done because you can hella see the brush strokes. And then I stamp on top and it has this delightful quality of making the stamp pop. I don't have a good example. They're all behind me, they're far. Go watch previous videos or just watch for the next 30 seconds to watch me do this. It auto-focused back to the wall. Uh, we have hit our allotted town. Uh, and I'd like to thank you all. The parents, man. We're going up north. Let's do it. What do you think, Moose? Here they are. Here's my prints for the day. They might be my favorite, but they all turned out really... What? What do you want? But they all turned out really great. Which one is your guys' favorite? Drop me a comment. Let me know. All this work is available, too, so if it's not listed on my online shop, you can just send me a message about it. I think this one's my favorite one. Mines will be cool on t-shirts, too. Like, just the prints themselves. Um, anyway. There's just so many things I want to get done in so little time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Quick shout out to Amrita 
I think I'm saying your name right. Rita has a streak of being the first to comment on my videos. Um, that's really cool that somebody like watches my videos cons that, like, that consistently. Um, I really appreciate your loyalty to my channel. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Really makes me feel supported and loved and I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Moose says bye too. Here he is. He says he'll see you in the next video.